Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a 23 slash 24 week update because I am 24 weeks tomorrow, which is probably when I'm going to be uploading this. So technically I'm a day shy of 24 weeks, but I skipped last week because as you know, I wanted to film Alessia's 12 month update. So if you want to check that out and see how she's doing at 12 months old, I will link it down below. I feel like this week has been the one that I, that I feel and look the most pregnant so far. We had Eduardo's fourth birthday party on Sunday and I wore a dress that I've only ever worn once before in my last pregnancy. So it's an Isabella Oliver dress, it's a maternity dress and I wore it like towards the end of my last pregnancy and I swear it looks the same on me now as it did in the end of Alessia's. So I don't know what it says about my size, but it's a really nice pregnancy or like maternity dress. And I love like the, it's got like ruching at the sides that's just really flattering and nice um, and just kind of like hugs the bump really well. So I wore that dress, but it, it does make me look I feel like maternity dresses do emphasize the bump anyway, so maybe that's why I feel like I looked more pregnant. But I definitely feel like I the bump is like all out there. There's no hiding it anymore. And I feel like I feel the most pregnant now. I'm getting the symptoms that are a little bit less comfortable now. So my second trimester so far has been amazing. I have to say, I can't complain. Like I just, I feel really good. I have more energy definitely than in the first trimester. I probably not as much as always just because it's hard work <laughs> looking after three kids. So I feel a little bit more tired than I did last time around. But compared to the first trimester, this is like a walk in the park and I'm not complaining at all. I haven't had any horrible symptoms. I haven't had any um, sickness really or much nausea at all. This trimester so I'm happy for the most part and really really grateful I've just felt good I have felt healthy I've just felt normal I actually went and had a doctor's appointment last week so we got to see the baby he was kicking loads and that's one of the other things like I've the kicks have been getting stronger and I love that I say that every time but I absolutely adore just the feeling of when the baby kicks. And while I was at the doctor's, I also went along to get my bloods done. So they checked my bloods for like, you know, low iron and all the other things that they check for. And they all came back perfect, which I was really happy with. My first two pregnancies, I was low on iron and I sometimes had protein in my urine. Like there were things, they weren't problematic pregnancies at all. Um, they were really low risk and I was perfectly fine the whole way through. But I just find it interesting that during those two pregnancies, like nobody knew, but I did still have, I was still suffering with an eating disorder. And although it wasn't like prevalent in during my pregnancies, I wasn't like fully recovered. And I feel like, so my last two pregnancies, I have been like completely recovered and like not struggling in any way, like in that capacity. And I just find it really interesting that I, I'm i not low on anything, any vitamins, you know, I'm so much healthier, I feel like. So even though I probably looked the same on the outside, I actually am so much healthier now than I was back then. They're not even major differences or like dramatic in any way, but to me knowing what my frame of mind was like back then versus now, I just, I find it really interesting. What I will say though is that a few pregnancy symptoms that have come in this week are the not so nice ones. So the first one being heartburn that has returned and I was kind of clinging on to the idea that it might not surface this pregnancy at all. I've had it with all three. They have each got progressively worse with the heartburn and it had nothing to do with the amount of hair that my kids had because people say there's like an old wives tale that the more heartburn you get the more hair the baby has and that's so not true because all my kids were born with the same exact amount of, of hair and they all were born with the same color hair as well so it didn't make any difference whatsoever but so far until like 23 weeks I did not have 
any heartburn. And I kind of thought that maybe I got away with it, but then it started and I was like, no. Now I did start drinking coffee again though, so I don't know is that related. I really hope not because I needed it. Like I just, it wasn't that I needed it because I was addicted. I just felt like I missed it. And I just really missed the routine of like making a coffee in the morning, making a coffee in the afternoon. Um, and I know I can give it up now. So I felt good about, you know, starting it back up again. I only drink two cups a day and the second cup is like a really milky cappuccino. So it's nothing major, but I just, I felt like I just needed it in my life. I have no vices. So like, if that's gonna be one of them, then I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. Um, but I don't know, does it have anything to do with the heartburn? So I am back on Rennie's, Rennie tablets. That's what I took and lived on for my whole last pregnancy and the one before. With Amelia, I didn't even know there was like anything you could take for it. It wasn't as bad with Amelia's pregnancy, but I didn't take anything. I just kind of like powered through. And I didn't even, I don't think I even realized what it was that I was experiencing. I think I kind of had an idea, but I wasn't really sure because I'd never had it before. Um, but yeah, I hate the heartburn. I think that is one of the worst symptoms that I get. And the funny thing is that last pregnancy with Alessia, I remember thinking once I have the baby, like towards the very end, I was like, once I have the baby, it's gonna just go. Like it's just gonna disappear and I won't need the tablets anymore. And that was not true. It lasted for a few weeks after giving birth, which I thought was weird. Cause I thought that once the pregnancy is like has left your body, then that's it, but not last time. So I'm definitely gonna keep a lot of tablets on hand just in case. They're just like little mints and I actually enjoy them. I think they taste nice. I get the spearmint flavor and they just taste like mints or like chewing gum. The other symptom that I kind of forgot to mention in another video, cause I had, this started actually when we were on the cruise. So it started about two weeks or three weeks ago, probably three weeks now. I have started getting pressure or like feeling pressure down there and that's not to say that the baby's coming anytime soon like I know that has nothing to do with it this is just like a symptom of pregnancy and it's probably your body like preparing for labor and all that but it is I don't really know exactly to how to explain but it's basically like you can feel it's when I overexert myself so if I've just done a workout which I haven't done one in ages but if I, I noticed it on the cruise because I was working out like very consistently, if I had just done a workout or if I had been doing a lot like around the house, lifting things, doing the things that you're not really supposed to do when you're pregnant, but like lifting things, um, getting stressed out about stuff, I would feel this come on. And it basically just feels like there's pressure down there. Um, it doesn't feel like anything's coming out. It just feels like it's, open I don't know how to explain without making it sound so disgusting it's not gross like it's just a it's just a feeling and your body is almost I feel like telling you to just go and sit down for a bit or like go and lie down for a bit and that's how I interpret it and I think that's pretty much what it is is that you've exerted yourself too much like if I went for a really long walk right now and came home I would get that pressure feeling and I would know to just like take it easy and lay down. So that's not to say that I'm anti working out or exercising during pregnancy because I'm definitely not. I think it's a huge, it's a really positive thing and I really wanna get back into it. I just haven't yet. I'm not beating myself up about it though because I know that I will get back into it. It's just that um, at the moment, there's just a lot going on. We are, finally moving house in a few months and I'm trying to get everything organized in my house at the moment so that it's an easy-ish move as easy as moves can be um I'm also aware that we're doing it while I'm heavily pregnant um at least I think so depending on when the house is ready so I have just been preparing that and doing a lot and it just is taking up so much of my time and honestly if I have like half an hour to spare and the baby's sleeping, I will go and I will organize some part of my house rather than do a workout at the moment. I know it sounds bad, but I just, I don't have the time right now. Um, but I will get back into it, I know I will. And I just feel like 
um, I should probably for myself and the weather's getting nicer now so hopefully I can go out and do some more walking and stuff like that which is really good for you when you're pregnant um, but I just know my limits as well I know that I don't want to I don't want to do too much because I don't I don't like feeling that pressure feeling I feel like it's my body telling me to slow down so I'm not gonna overexert myself definitely <laughs> I'm definitely not overexerting myself right now that's for sure I think that's pretty much everything I'm gonna show you the bump I did do a little bit of baby shopping I went into London yesterday and I popped into Rachel Riley which is the cutest clothes shop for children it is just reminds me of like 1950s fashion for kids it's just so quaint and really really cute and lots of like cutesy little patterns and it's very English I just I absolutely love it I've got Amelia Eduardo and Alessia stuff there before so I bought the baby some things and they're so cute I did pack them away though so I can't really show you guys I just packed them away this morning and um, it was like three little baby grows with bunnies on them and what else? Elephants or something like that. I can't even remember. And then Alessia had a little baby grow that said my little princess or our little, I think it's my little princess. And he has one that says my little prince in blue. It's so cute. And I also got Alessia a matching one. So I will show them to you guys in a video probably. I will now show you the bump for 24, 23 weeks. I'm actually wearing this top, which is not maternity, but I really like it. It's a cold shoulder style top and it's really flowy. It's this off white color. It's got some, um, what would you call this? Lace embroidery, probably embroidery on the neckline and the sleeves are loose and airy. It's just the perfect like maternity and also kind of postpartum top. I love it. It's from the brand Gandhi's. I'll link it down below. This is the belly for 24 weeks. You can see it has popped out a lot more and looks huge sometimes. <laughs> I had some people at Eduardo's party be like, oh, you mustn't have that long to go. I was like, actually, I've got four months left. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check out pictures, outfit pictures and all that kind of thing on my blog. I'm back to blogging now, so um, check that out. It is linked down below. And give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.